but the podium is yours. <clears throat> Ambition. A strong desire to do or to achieve something typically requiring dedication and hard work. Any dictionary you look in will have a description similar to that. That thing, ambition, when fueled by the desire for excellence in whichever direction your ambition leads you is the motor that drives us to places like Binghamton University. At least that's what hopefully drove you here. For me, it was my mother saying, I don't know where you're going, but you're going to leave here. <laughs> that and my friend Dobie getting uh, accepted here, too. And I figured, hey, at least I can go somewhere where somebody would understand all the Lackawanna ways in me. And for y'all that don't know, uh, that's my hometown near Buffalo, New York, which I wrote the movie Lackawanna Blues about. As a matter of fact, I put a shot of my Harper College diploma in that movie in the scene. Wouldn't be surprised if that's why I got invited here on this incredible day. <laughs> Your graduation day. I'm glad to be here with you. But whatever the reason, I'm delighted to be in your presence and bring a taste of Lackawanna on campus once again. Back to ambition. The more ambitious you are, the higher your goals, the tougher your tasks, the more prestigious your accomplishment. And for some, the harder the fall. Now the falling part, that's the scary part. But more to that in a moment. Now when you choose Binghamton University, it's obvious to anyone that has an inkling of knowledge about our national universities that you are reaching for the top. The Ivy League of the state university system, the absolute epitome of what public education can be. And as you all can attest to, graduating from Binghamton University ain't no easy task. That's a big dragon to slay. Now I stand here with tremendous pride looking at the victors. The graduating class of 2013 of Harper College Division of Fine Arts and Humanities. Give yourselves a hand. You guys slew that big scary dragon weathered the walk from college in the woods to lecture hall when it was below 30, below 20, even below 10, all that's below zero. <laughs> and sometimes you came back after dinner, trucking past the library and administration tower to the fine arts building for that evening rehearsal, recital, or class in February. Eyebrows frozen, snot crusted on your nose, <laughs> teeth chattering a familiar tune, from Hinman, you watch the nature preserve make its transition from its bucolic picture of unadulterated autumn beauty to the frozen tundra, which wouldn't even warrant a glance, in fear that you might repeat that age-old phrase that has been whispered through ski masks and down jackets throughout the universities of the Northeast everywhere. Damn. <laughs> I knew I should have went to the University of Miami. But hey, hey, <laughs> but hey, now, now hold on now, hold on. If you had gone to the University of Miami, you would have heard Juan Pablo Ruiz, Stuart Miller, or Jim Laranga speak at commencement. And I'm not putting any of those distinguished individuals down. Those gentlemen have accomplished all sorts of tremendous things. But neither of them can tell you how it feels to be a devilish lawyer for Al Pacino and Devil's Advocate or have Denzel Washington's back against the feds and American gangster, or get shot in the head by Vanessa Williams in Shaft, or even say to kiss Halle Berry in their eyes are watching God, but I digress, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> ambition. To be exceedingly ambitious sets you up for what some call the big F, failure. Now let's think about that word for a second, failure. Now, we don't need to go to a dictionary on that one. Failure? I mean, that seems so permanent, and yet it can be so temporary. 
because as soon as you dust yourself off, rejuvenate, prepare physically, spiritually, and mentally for the next leg of the journey, and you put your goal squarely in front of you again, you are right back on track. The only failure that's permanent is failure to wake up in the morning. That's called death. You only get that one once. <laughs> Everything else, there's just bumps in the road that should stimulate you to work harder and come back stronger. Just let the bruises heal and, and take each temporary setback as a lesson to carry with you for the next leg of the journey. Just ask Michael Jordan, who failed to make his high school basketball team until his junior year, or Albert Einstein, who failed to speak before he was four years old, and they said he would amount to nothing. <laughs> or Oprah Winfrey, who was removed from her anchor job in Baltimore because her general manager said she wasn't fit for television. Or me. Me. Oh yeah, I failed thousands of times. I'm a pro at failing. I failed to get roles, failed to get films produced, failed to get directing jobs. In fact, at any given time, 90% of the people in my industry are out of work. Does that make them failures? I doubt it. So after dusting myself off, putting my feet squarely on the ground, and each of those experiences that I've had, those failures in their proper place, I humbly stand before you today, Dr. Ruben Santiago Hudson, proud Harper College alum. <laughs> proud Harper College alum, actor, writer, director, proud father of four amazing children, and husband to the most beautiful woman in the world for the past 22 glorious years, whom I am blessed to have with me here today. And she's a better kisser than Halle Berry, but we, we, won't, we won't get into that. <laughs> we won't get into that one. But there are no secrets. There are no secrets to be shared with you about success. But there's a wee bit of advice. It's a wee bit. Choose a career that you want to get up every day and be happy and proud to do. And share your life and goodness with people whose hearts and souls and smiles inspire you, give you strength, solace, and joy. Anything you want to do is there for you, but it's, it's not going to come and get you. You have to go and get it. The great James Baldwin said, those who say it can't be done are usually interrupted by those who are doing it. Go do it. I wish you peace and happiness today, tomorrow, and always, God bless you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs>